Exotic pets. Have you ever wished you had a tiger, an elephant, a bear, or another adorable but wildly dangerous animal as a pet? You are not alone. For centuries, human beings have wanted to domesticate the wildest animals of all the places in the world. And many people have achieved this dream of domesticating wildlife and having exotic pets. Non-domesticated animals are not used to living in houses like cats and dogs, and people are also not used to seeing such unique and unusual pets in their daily lives. For this reason, if you have a wild animal as a pet, you will always attract the attention of people who want to know more about it. Do you think that wild animals are good pets? Do you want to meet the strangest pets that exist? If so, join me on this adventure to discover the most unusual exotic pets around the world. And for some extra fun, find our mascot Ned hiding throughout the video. Sir Lancelot and Cor the Labrador Do you think this Labrador Retriever has something special? Well, you will be surprised by this incredible Labrador named Sir Lancelot and Cor, since he is a perfect clone of its whole self being the first successful clone dog in the world. Its owners thought it would be a great idea for their dog to have a few more years to live, so they decided to clone him. If you had the opportunity to clone your pet and keep it for an extra few years, would you do it? Green Monkey, the thoroughbred horse. How much would you pay for a pet? Several dollars? And how much would you be willing to pay for the best thoroughbred racehorse you've ever seen? And what if his name was Green Monkey? With such particular name, do you think it's an animal that is worth paying for? Green Monkey is an excellent runner who managed to cover a distance of 16 football fields in just 9.8 seconds. What a speed! The speed of this incredible horse is due to the fact that his father was forestry another champion horse. So Green Monkey's genes help him to be a first-class winner. This gorgeous specimen was sold in 2009 for $16 million, the price of a true champion. Capybara. Is it a kangaroo or a boar? Well, it's neither of the two. This giant animal is a capybara and it's a giant guinea pig from South America. This rodent is the largest in the world, making it unlikely that we will see it as a pet. But there is one exception, Melanie Tipaldos of Buda, Texas. She has the largest capybara in the world. Melanie has created an Instagram account for her giant pet, with the mission of educating people about her unusual and little-known rodent. Capybaras live in the Amazon rainforest and love water. They are very family-oriented and often live in groups of 10 to 20 individuals, but have been seen in large groups with about 100 members. Experts recommend this giant rodent be left in the wild since, as a pet, it's hard to keep. Melanie has recognized that this animal requires a lot of care and that they can be very expensive. Stick Insect Imagine that you come home from school and your mom tells you that she has a surprise for you. A pet. Will it be a puppy, a kitten, or maybe a hamster? No, it's a stick insect. Although these insects are not as adorable as kittens, they can be very interesting to children because of their strange appearance. And they can be your best friend for many years if you take good care of them. For your insect to live a long and prosperous life next to you, make sure that its habitat contains tall plants that he can hang on. In addition, you must feed him a balanced diet of bramble, ivy, and lettuce. You also must ensure that your insect does not feel alone. They also have feelings. Maybe get them a friend with whom they can play. This is a perfect pet for anyone. All you have to do is treat them carefully. Don't go breaking one of their limbs. The Marmoset Monkey Not all monkeys are wild. There are some that you may even have as pets. This is the case of the Marmoset Monkey, a small breed that has become famous due to how cute and naughty they are. But they also require a lot of attention. 
Many people have adopted these marmoset monkeys as their pets, but it is really not recommended. Despite how adorable and small they are, they are still wild animals that have their habitat and should not be taken out of there. The South American illegal exotic pet trade has managed to deplete the marmoset monkey's population, and deforestation has destroyed their habitat. Unfortunately, many few of the marmoset monkeys you see as pets are legally raised. Octopus Why have a goldfish when you can have a bigger, smarter, and many tentacle pet? An octopus lives in its own tank, does not require much physical contact, and you can watch it for hours without getting bored. It looks like the perfect pet, but there are plenty of things to keep in mind before catching one and giving it a name. These friends need a very large aquarium to be comfortable. Make sure you have a thick cap on your tank, because octopus are known for their great escape tactics. You should also make sure to feed it with live creatures. Your octopus will not settle for eating fish food. But even if you think you have everything you need to have your own octopus, it is better not to do it. Octopuses get bored very easily because they're very intelligent creatures. And when they get bored, they tend to hurt themselves. So keep admiring these cephalopods from afar and let them run free. Next time you go scuba diving, see if you can befriend one. There have been amazing cases of professional scuba divers making friends with octopuses and even sharks. But be careful, respecting their space is always the best philosophy. Rodents Not all rodents are invasive and come to steal your cheese from your pantry. Some of them you may have as pets. Several of these rodents are very sociable and affectionate, like the digos or the flying squirrels but require certain needs in order for them to have a healthy life, such as large space for their habitat, adequate food, and the tools they need to exercise. Pets like prairie dogs need a much larger space and a diet of fruits and vegetables. But despite having territorial instincts, prairie dogs are very sociable and get along with humans very well. Unfortunately, some of these exotic pet species are difficult to acquire in the United States due to an embargo imposed on species from Africa. Ginet If you could combine two animals to have your perfect pet, which animals will you choose? I will choose a cat and a ferret to create the adorable Ginet. The Ginet looks very cat-like, but it does not behave like your loving and lazy kitty. These animals are loners and incredible night hunters. A uh, Janet will not hesitate to climb you like a tree with its sharp claws, all to escape from what scares it. These small ones are usually domesticated in North Africa, where they protect farms from small animals. If you want to tame one of these animals, you should bear in mind that they will become more aggressive as time goes by. They are not just simple cats. A goatee. Would you like to have a different pet than your friends' hamsters and guinea pigs? The agouti is the perfect pet for you. The agouris are rodent native to South America, the size of a hare, with round eyes and excellent swimming ability. The sweetest thing about this animal is that it remains with a single partner for the rest of its life. The agouti can be domesticated and can be a good pet, but like all wild animals, it's better in its own habitat, living with its same kind. Also, this little rodent is in danger, so take good care of it. Madokwa Surely you think Madokwa is a simple little antelope that will grow in a few years, but the Madokwa will not. This curious species is very small in size compared to its siblings. They are also known as Dick Dick due to the similar sound they make when they are scared. This species in the past was a common pet, but now its commercialization has stopped. These little ones were sold for an approximate value of $6,000 each. Binturong Would you like your pet to have the smell of your favorite food? The Binturong is a mammal that looks like a cross between a cat and a bear, and it's very famous for having a popcorn smell that emanates from its fur. Doesn't that sound fabulous? A mix between two adorable animals with a pleasant smell. 
The binturong is a large Asian animal, but is very gentle and docile when you get to know it. If you want to know where to meet and admire one of these creatures the size of a dog, you can find these cute animals in some zoos that have the goal of conserving their species since it's in danger of extinction. Raccoon Dog The combination between a dog and a raccoon will not seem so strange after you see these canine from the Asian area. Actually, this curious animal is a dog with a similarity to a raccoon that is prohibited in several European regions and the United States because it is considered an invasive species. Also known as tanuki, its appearance may seem very cute. But be careful, remember that he's a wild animal and also a carnivore. Do not invade its territory and much less try to tame this beautiful animal. Cody Andal and his wild pets. How would you not like to be surrounded by wild animals to care for and love them? This is the life of Cody Antle, son of Braga Van Antle, founder of Myrtle Beach Safari, an establishment that works on the conservation of wildlife. Cody is friends with the chimpanzees, tigers, elephants, and other animals that inhabit the safari, and uploads photos of his wildlife encounters to social networks so that we can all see them. Cody and his father have been widely criticized because the people who view their posts on social media believe that the animals in their care look too gentle and domesticated to be wild animals. There are people who are not sure that Cody and Bragavan are actually protecting wildlife and that everything is an excuse to have exotic pets, something that should not be allowed. Wild animals belong to their habitats. Always remember that. The men of the hyenas. Could you imagine having a predator from the African savanna as a pet? In Lagos, Nigeria, photographs were taken that caught the attention of people from the western region. In these photographs, you could see men walking on the streets, but what was most striking was that they had hyenas tied with chains. Yes, they walk hyenas as if they were dogs. Such wild animals strolling through the streets. The photography went viral, and people call these men drug dealers, bank robbers, or bodyguards. The true information came to light through a Nigerian journalist who said that these men are known as hyena guides. These people were really jugglers who were dedicated to entertainment through these exotic animals. It's a custom that has been passed down through generations. The United Arab Emirates bans pets. United Arab Emirates, a country located in the Middle East region, has given decisive news regarding the care of wild species. This country has prohibited dangerous or exotic species from being pets or from being used for entertainment. Animals such as cheetahs, lions, crocodiles, and other reptiles were quite common in the UAE and had even become children's pets with the consent of their parents traveling to other regions to give them the gift their children love so much. This is a magnificent decision that this country has made, a decision that will help prevent these species from being stolen from their habitat and becoming a simple spectacle or just fun for a wealthy family. Pets are a very big responsibility, especially when it comes to these particular pets that require special care. Wild animals are not made to live indoors. They need to live in a space that provides them with everything that your house cannot provide. This is why, if you want to have an exotic pet, make sure that this animal is comfortable living in captivity, whether in a house, an aquarium, or even your garden. If you know that this animal cannot be happy living with you, make sure it's released into its natural environment. In nature, it will find things that you cannot give it and that will make you happier than you think. If you love something, set it free. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have not burst with tenderness and joy from these wild animals. Until next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.